Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Six Sigma by MB Mohit Sharma. Today's video is a requested video. In today's video, I will talk about the similarities between two T tests and one way ANOVA and their applications. Both of these hypothesis tests are performed when Y is continuous and normal and X is discrete and has two variables. I have seen myself quality practitioners getting confused which tool to use when they are comparing two variables in one X. We will understand this with the help of an example. A class of 30 students were asked to study with music and without music in two different semesters. In this example, the dependent variable is marks, which is also known as project Y. The independent variable here is music and it has two variables. One is yes or no, means with music or without music. We will use first two sample t test and then we will use one way ANOVA test. Later we will compare the results. I will be using Minitab version 19 for this comparison. For 2t test, first we go to stat, then basic statistics and then two sample t test and click OK. Under samples, enter marks and under sample IDs, enter music and click OK. You will get the result where p-value is 0.00 and t is equal to 23.63. Now let us run one way ANOVA. For that we will go to stat, ANOVA and one way and click OK. Under response enter marks which are dependent variable and under factor you enter music which is independent variable and then click OK. Here you got the p-value of 0, 0.00 which is similar to two sample t-test p-value. The only difference here is instead of t-test value, we are getting f-test value. The f-test value in this case is 558.60. So are these two tests similar? Let us check that out. If I square the t-value, which is 23.63, I get 558.38, which means f is equal to t-square with rounding of error. So whatever the result your 2t-test will give, the same result will be given by your ANOVA test. Now we can say that two sample t-test and one way ANOVA test can be used interchangeably when x has two variables. Important point, two variables. This is not the same when x has three or more than three variables. With three or more than three variables, one way ANOVA is more precise. So use one way ANOVA test when your x has three or more than three variables. So friends, I hope you would have understood how similar these two tests are when x has two variables. I hope it would have killed your confusion around the same. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching. 